here at the Raw Vegan Food Festival, we're going to find out why Ananda chocolate is the world's best organic chocolate. I mean, it says so here. So you are... Randa. And... Mike. Mike, I believe you do sales. Yes, thank and, you. And uh, Randa, you're uh, the president, president and uh, creative yeah. of the company. So the company's been available for about a year and a half, I heard, but you just kind of launched this line of chocolate recently, the last eight months. Yes, definitely. Um, ATG Trading Group stands for Around the Globe Trading. Basically, we go around the globe. We look for products that we find that are very interesting that uh, people in North America will appreciate. And we bring them over. So this is what we did with Ananda Chocolate. Uh, we found it uh, last year in Europe. It was just launching in Europe and it was a very interesting concept that we found that was very spectacular for the North American market. Uh, basically, the product is um, made from organic dark chocolate. Everything is sourced in Ecuador and manufactured in Ecuador to support the local community and also to support uh, the industries there. Um, it's, we use vegetable based uh, ink in the, the print that we do and we source the uh, the, the paper from uh, responsibly forested woods. So may I ask you this, uh, Mr. Jack, why would you, you know, in your travels and your dinner research, pick that particular location for that particular chocolate? Well, I love the concept. I mean, the whole concept behind the chocolate was great and I just felt like people are kind of combining two things together, which is basically you're trying to bring an excellent product, healthy product, organic, and at the same time taking social responsibility into consideration. So I felt like that was perfect. It goes along with our philosophy as a company. So I just said that, well, this would be great. We basically decided to um, help them out, bring the product in. We are the exclusive importer for North America and we help them with the packaging in terms of the labeling and all that, make sure everything is compliant. Um, and one of the best things I also loved about it is that it's packaged with a, in a special foil, it's called foil for soil. It's made of cellulose, so it's compostable. If you look at our uh, planter here, we put the paper in around October for the CHFA 2011 Expo East, and you can see it's already breaking down. So that's a very special feature about it. You can see that in every stage of uh, the product, we are trying to take the environment into consideration. Excellent. Okay, so let's take the chocolate into consideration. Tell me more about your okay, so world's best organic chocolate. Okay, we have right now five selections available in the Canadian market. Um, this one is an 80% dark chocolate, and it's the pure dark chocolate that we have in here. And then we have another one. The rest well, what, are... Hold it. It says pure ecstasy. Yes, okay. it's basically... Ananda starts for, uh, basically means in Sanskrit ecstasy or bliss. Ah. So it's basically what we're trying to say that how the chocolate can bring a lot of happiness to people. But well, it's a good name if you want to have the world's best chocolate, I guess. <laughs> you yeah. need it. And then uh, we also have the rest, which are 70% dark chocolate. This one's very interesting because it has chewy bananas in it. So, uh, it's so a very what made you decide to have that, like this particular oh, brand here, the blissful well. banana? Why, why put bananas in it? People are well, throwing bananas while they're high exactly in chocolate, yeah. or what? We, write, we, play, we try to source everything from Ecuador. So banana obviously is one of the things that is available widely there. So we, we got that. And oh, okay. We this one. We have something else with banana too, which is very interesting. We have the chocolate. This one's basically sweetened just with banana puree. There's no sugar added to it. So it's a very different type of chocolate that's available in here. So, and it's a 70% dark chocolate. Then we have another combination which is mint and coffee nibs in it. So that's a different combination too, same for the same reasons. We try to get whatever is available in Ecuador and use it in a special format to make a special chocolate that everybody can enjoy. Again, supporting the local uh, yes, the local community food in, the, the in Ecuador. Yes. Yeah. And everything we try to get it organic. Okay, organic. now I understand the concept, okay. Yeah, and then we have here also the same thing with coffee beans, 70% dark chocolate uh, has coffee beans so it's a bit crunchy. But the same thing. We try. We limit ourselves to sourcing ingredients from Ecuador. So we try. We we use whatever they have there and try to make something special with it. We have two chocolates coming up, which are very interesting. It's kind of with our super chocolates because one will be having Inca berries or golden berries, also from Ecuador. Oh yeah, super food. Yes, and the other one will be having chia seeds. So the yeah, Inca another super survival food. <laughs> the Inca berries are known for being high in antioxidants, and the chia seeds are uh, known for having the omega oils in it. So let's go to Mike here. Mike, uh, you did sales, so you're out in the field. Uh, what are people saying about the uh, chocolates? Are, are they the world's best chocolate? Or <laughs> I, I tend to believe they are because people, uh, even here on the show, they, they enjoy it. They come and, uh, and they try it out. Even the ones that are uh, a little bit skeptical about going into an 80% dark chocolate, when they try this one, they find the, um, the finishes. It's very smooth and it's very pleasing. What are people saying here at the Raw Vegan Food Festival about your 
Uh, they, they like the design. The packaging is very appealing. Uh, they like the fact that it's uh, it's a, a socially responsible product, and also the fact that the foil is is also compostable because a lot of times companies stop short at the, at the, at the either the packaging or the foil, and this is all thought <laughs> from the inside out. Um, and they also like. Uh, certain uh, like your flavors because some people, for example, don't want to have sugar in their uh, in their chocolate. We offer this flavor here, which is just sweetened with banana puree, so it's appealing to certain uh, people. Let me ask you this, Mike. A little funny thing. Uh, before you got on with them, uh, were you eating chocolate before this? Yes. Cake? And, and you kind of like switched to this brand, or or you had to? Uh, I did. <laughs> I didn't know about this brand prior, uh, but uh, I, when I tried it, I, I, I really liked it a lot. What did you like? What was your like response? I just like the fact that the taste of the chocolate is, is very nice and it's smooth. It's, there's no bitterness in, in, the, in the taste. Um, when it's high, high, high uh, it is a chocolate, chocolate high, yeah. yeah it doesn't have that bitterness. You think. No, it doesn't. So that's a good thing. And I like the combinations. I like the mint and the coconut. I like the, the 80 percent uh, dark one. So yeah, it, it obviously it has a, a unique taste to it. Excellent. Okay, thank you so much. Thank Your you. website would be w dot atg trading. That stands for gain for around the globe trading. Excellent. Well, thank you for giving me a tour around the world about the world's best organic chocolate. Thank you. Thank you.